Saturday, I have a photo shoot Sunday night. Family coming over, I have friends coming over throughout the week, so I just think I should vlog because I haven't vlogged and I haven't really documented much of college and I want to be able to look back. I'm on my phone though, so it's a little bit different. Kind of scheduled my day out today, so let's get going and let's start prepping. I actually did my hair yesterday. I like it and I'm happy that I like it. <laughs> I'm just so tall. Home alone, like roommates have moved out, so that's why the signs are vacant. I'm waiting for the new roommates to come in. This is how my hair looks. It's getting really cool. outside of Office Depot. I'm never here. I made a graduation design for my cap, whatever, and I printed it so hopefully it looks good. And I just wasn't here for like the little arts and crafts and like gluing a whole bunch of stuff together. I have a Bible verse on there. It's not extremely long, but it's long enough for me to be frustrated. So I made a design on Canva. So let's see how it printed out. or I got my stuff. Now I need to find glue so I can glue it to the cap, wherever that is. <laughs> I want to get this because it's cheaper. I just hope it doesn't ruin like material of the cap. Plastic, ceramic, wood, rubber, metal, and leather. Mm. Would this be too harsh? But I feel like it'll do the job. This is a little bit cheaper and it's by Scotch repair glue but I could use it on paper fabric cardboard which I think will be good for the type of material I'm working with so let's check out with this all right secured for some reason I low-key wanted to explore but I have no time to wait because I'm already have a late start to the day and while I was in there the nail salon called me and asked me to come like an hour earlier so I gotta put a pep in my step it's 2.49 and they want me to be there at 5 o'clock. I'm driving now and I'm on my way to the shoe store because I need to buy heels and sandals for the photo shoot and graduation day and also sandals because I don't think I'm going to want to wear heels all day. I just got to the shoe store. I was actually here a few days ago and I didn't even get anything. I was just looking and at first I thought I was going to wear a red dress for graduation. Now I'm going to wear a white dress so now I'm like, okay, let me buy blue heels. So... It's okay, sometimes you make a drive just to figure stuff out, you know. This is the one I was looking at. I don't know if I should get this or this. Or these. But these are so small and they're kind of hard. I'm out the store now. The guy always helps me, he recognized me because I was there the other day and like, He's so nice. Whenever I want something, like he pulls it out like so fast, like the size and the color, and he recognized me. He's like, "See you next." He's like, "See you next week," and I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" But yeah, he's nice. I like being nice to workers, also, especially if they even remember me. And this, it was actually like full today, and I'm like, "Ew," I guess because it's a Saturday. Because when I went last time, it wasn't that packed, and I'm like, "This is why I don't like shopping." But I'm happy I technically knew the first thing I needed, and I got it right away. And the size. I like at first I tried it on I saw it size 9 blue got it then I was I walked around then I went back I was like you know what let me see if there's a 10 I kid you not I can I did not see any other blue heels in that like any other like the same shoe I could not find the same shoe in blue or even in size 10 and I was like wow God really saved that for me because there was literally that was the last one in the last size and I was like wow thank you Jesus Anyways. Now, shoes are bought. I got these sandals because they just fit better. The other ones are like tighter. I don't know how cute they are, but they felt cuter on my feet, like more comfortable, whatever. Simple and white. I'm happy it didn't take long because I take long shot. But anyway, so I got that. But now I need to, I want to get gas because gas is cheaper over here. And then I am going to go to Target and pick up my new glasses and my pack of contacts that I got because I went and got my eyes checked like last week. While I'm in Target, hopefully I could find a big bonnet so I could like cover my hair at night. I don't think they do have it because I checked online to see if they had it in store and I don't think they do. So but if there's anything else I need to buy in Target, this will be the time. But first, gas. Fell. 
other part fell off under the truck. Oh my gosh, the ghetto. I'm gonna go inside and get ice because I love Wawa ice. It's so good. Ice is occurred. Yeah, buddy. Okay, I'm at Target. This Target is actually two stories, so that's cool. Two story Target. Different prescriptions. At first, it was like the same ones. Yes, and now a little bit different. Yeah. Okay. You have contacts on now? I do. You're not going to see anything out of your glasses. Mm -hmm. Which, okay, I just need to see them while you see them. Okay. Yeah, just keep your eyes closed. <laughs> okay. look, look towards me. There you go. It feels comfortable. Yeah, it looks comfortable. Okay, I want to see one. myself. I guess I'll surprise myself when I get home. Yeah, well, Thank you. Awesome. Well, you could get easily distracted in Target. It's crazy. Just passed by the makeup, and I think for graduation, I'm doing my own makeup and for the photo shoot. So I was like, oh my gosh, do I need anything? But I, I didn't think ahead. So I was like, if I don't know, I'm just going to stand here forever. But I do know I want something. I want to see if they have the bonnet. I mean, I don't think they do, but it's okay. After this, I'm going to guard my eyebrows and then go to my nail appointment okay i think i found it oh this is jumbo size i thought it wasn't jumbo it's just red i think that's why it said they didn't have it as long as it's big enough do they only have red yeah and i think this is just a regular size wide edge maybe i should just get this like i see the small sizes of stuff and i'm like oh my gosh let me get it but like i don't need it See, like, when I actually go to college, I can't wait to, like, have money and just start dabbling in self-care stuff more versus always avoiding it because I don't want to spend money. I need to go because I forgot I was going to go to the hair store and return a pack of hair that I got that I didn't use and also get store credit because I also could buy, like, braid spray and jewelry. Oh, I still need to get jewelry. I promise you I just tried to leave and it was... I'm only going to walk out because I don't... Why is it making a sound? I was checking out. The lady was just like, is it really jumbo though? And I'm like, I don't know. What do you think? Like, is it? Oh, you can't see me. And then she's like, she usually gets her stuff off Amazon. And I told her, like, I just did my hair. And I need it to fit, like, right now. But she said I could always return it. So we'll see. I guess I'm in my returning era. And actually save my money versus, like, buying stuff and then keeping it. Okay, so now let's see. It's 4.14. Let's see if I can go to the hair store and back. Oh, gosh. I might end up getting jewelry tomorrow. Wait, I just had the smartest idea. I just bought it. She made the receipt, right? Before driving off, well, let me actually check if it's jumbo, because I can just return it right away. Right? The hair is already on my head. So, oh, oh man. All right, of course I opened it like the worst way possible. What the frick is inside? What type of material is this? Oh! A small head, but like, dang! Oh, jeez, this is gonna hurt my head. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is gonna give me a headache. Why is it so tight? Ow. Literally, the way I'm faced is correct. Don't look at me. This is what happens when you're parked in backwards. Because my hair is also tight right now. Oh. But I guess the true test would be like sleeping in it. It holds everything. I just don't want a headache. It already feels like compressed. I don't know, I'm doing that. I'll test it out. If I don't want it, I'll return it. Let me go. Four thirty, and I'm right. I just got to the place to do my eyebrows. Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't tangle my hair. I probably didn't. But uh, I feel like it just needs like a little cleanup because I just want it to look nice for the pictures. Just naturally like easy to do. Just a little cleanup. I don't want to, I don't need to do the most. So let's go. Weddings. Thing is, I feel like you can't really see it. It's like so bright, but like the clean oh not the scars not the scars 
at first I was like oh my gosh hopefully she's not doing like a lot but like I've been here before and even last time I was here she was saying like you don't want to cut off a lot because I guess like some people she said like I have a good amount of hair so it's not good to like keep going because I think one time I think I had like asked her like oh can you shape it up a little bit more but she's like you don't want to like make it too skinny she did good oh my gosh do I really literally have a tan line oh my gosh anyways to the nail salon wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute do my eyebrows typically go up maybe she did go higher than usual the tan maybe is throwing me off let me go I literally have a story about this, but it's okay. Okay, I'm sitting outside the nail salon. I have a mint in my mouth. But 15 minutes early, 13 minutes early. But I'm just gonna walk in because why not? Oh my gosh. Literally the bonnet, me like tangling it up just to put in the bonnet is just great. It's okay though. It's cold. It's cold? Yeah. It's getting hot. Okay. Okay, I'm just leaving the nail salon and these are the nails. French. I asked her to do like the white thicker than usual, but it's whatever. And then my toes, I'm not really a big fan of because it, I couldn't really do it straight. Uh, they're white, but like the nail is like curved. But it's fine. It's literally whatever. I wanted my nails to look nice because for my graduation picture, I want to hold my cap. But all together, like, I just want to look put together. I really want to continue doing my nails. And I really like doing gel because when you do gel, they actually like cut your cuticles. And I feel like they don't really do that with the other ones. I don't know why. And I just want them to like really clean up my cuticles. Oh, my mom's calling me. Okay, I'm back home. I didn't feel like stressing about the lighting. So this is what it is right now. But yeah, I ate, um, had a quick dinner, but now I'm going to open up my design for my cap. Oh my gosh, let's see. I got it printed three different times. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just have to basically cut it for it to fit on my cap. It will fit. Well, I'm going to cut it, obviously, but I think it's actually smaller than I thought. It's fine. I think it's still gonna look good. Daniel chapter 10 verse 19 and it basically sums up to say, Daniel, you are very precious to God. Don't be afraid. Peace, be encouraged, be strong. I'm actually named after Daniel in the Bible and I just wanted something connected and meaningful for my graduation cap and the verse or the quote, not just something else on Pinterest and um I actually my screensaver I have like three different screensavers that switch on my phone and one of them says like peace be encouraged be strong and I like went back to that verse and I went back to that chapter when I was asking God like what should I put on my cap and then he led me to the verse that says Daniel like you are very precious to God don't be afraid and honestly I don't want to I don't want to say it but I feel like sometimes I might actually do live in fear about like the future or like what's gonna happen and stuff like that and I feel like it's just a good reminder because the fact that God is saying my name and saying I'm precious to him, listen. Also, if you don't know, legally, my name is actually spelt like D-A-N-I-E-L, like how it's spelt in the Bible. But, you know, for like social media stuff and like whatever, I use Danielle Michelle because like it's spelt like similar and it has like a rhyme to it and like people will not understand because like the way my parents say my name they say it with an accent and it doesn't just sound like Daniel and it doesn't just sound like Danielle it's like a combination and like I don't usually say my own name often it's so weird but like yeah but anyway so it's meaningful to me and then those who actually know my name is spelled like that you're elite you know you know what I'm saying so yeah that's the reasoning behind the bible verse just so you know. So basically, I'm gonna, as you can see, it looks like a cap. So I just have to cut it out, but this is how it looks and I designed it. So basically, the cap, usually you wear it like this turned. Good morning, it's the day of the photo shoot. I'm in my car, I'm actually at Party City and I did pick up and I guess they're gonna bring it out to me. 
but I just bought like two balloons with the number 23 and I didn't buy like a huge size it's like 14 inches so it's not big and I'm like whatever honestly save money live better but also less stress but also like I don't know. Like, I don't need to be doing most. I feel tired. I didn't really... I feel like I've been going to bed late and stuff. Um, bro, this do This bonnet I slept with, like, indented my forehead. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. So, after this, I need to get cash to pay the photographer later. And I have to pick up my sister. Because she flew in yesterday instead of her friend's house. Then after that, I can go to the store, get jewelry, and then come back home and, like, do my makeup and all that stuff. And maybe make, like, a TikTok or something for fun. And, yeah, so instead of my photo shoot being at 7.30, it's at 6.30. We moved it up. We axed. So it's just, like, whatever. Even though I still feel like I'm getting myself together. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'll meet earlier. I actually finished the cap today. I started last night, but I finished. I didn't record this morning, but it's glued on there i kind of wish like the edges were like more like had like diamonds or something but i don't know like i said i'm really not trying to stress about anything i'm not even trying to like show off either i just feel like i always i just knew i wanted a graduation photo shoot and i'm just happy i'm doing it to be honest and i know i wanted the number 23 so you would think i should have my jewelry ready but anyways I wonder how long they're gonna take to get me my stuff, but I'll just talk to you guys later. Okay, so I decided to go in because nobody was coming out. And when I went in, they gave me like the balloon in a bag and it was like not even inflated. And I was like, oh, like I want it inflated. He's like, it doesn't come inflated and it's not gonna float. And I'm like, okay. But uh, yeah, I asked him to do it for me. As soon as the door opened, it started raining, and I'm like, oh my gosh, if I had just got out as soon as I got here, I would have been in the rain. But, like, it's not too bad of rain. I think it's, like, flipped. Is that? Anyways, I'll just hold up my picture. 23! Let's get my seat. Trying on my stuff. I'm back home. I need to put this on my head. The stuff I'm gonna wear. My honors cords that I honestly could have bought on Amazon, Loki. But anyways, the shoes, the blue doesn't even match this. Meant to do like a light treatment. So I don't know. I, just... I don't think it's matching how it was before. I never do my makeup sitting on the floor. I just feel like I want to be at peace. I just want to be calm, cool, and collected. You know, just taking it easy and enjoying the moment and not having to stand up because of. My forehead. Oh, that's when I was on set. When I was on, I was on set for like this commercial, and literally, I was wearing a headband, and the sun was just like hitting me right here. <laughs> so if you look closely, like you will see like right here is darker than the rest of my forehead. We were outside the whole day. This is my cap. And now I just have to put the thing on there. Why does mirror look so dirty? I just put this mirror here just so I can see myself, but it wasn't always there. Makeup is basically done. I just need lip gloss. Oh my gosh, I need to do my edges. It's 5.46. So cute. Oh my gosh. I am cute. I'm on campus and a lot of people are actually trying to take pictures also. Here I go, it's almost my turn. I'm literally, I have a cut and I'm trying to like not get it messy. I have my stuff, I don't feel prepared. Nah. Well, I'm prepared, but like not really. I need to put like my cap and stuff on. Oh my gosh. Stand in the middle. Why not stance? Kind of holding it back. Holding it back. 
Photo shoots and I have it. I'm so happy I followed through with this. Because <laughs> I ha I don't really have that much photo shoots for myself. Because I hate trying to dress myself up. I need people to dress me.
talking about assignments anymore. <laughs> That's it. I don't have to take a test every couple of weeks. That's it. I don't have to do. I don't have to study. Quotation marks study. That's it. <laughs> I just have to be in my career and work <laughs> and travel or whatever the case is. And give daddy some money. I'm going to do this conversation. Um, let me stop this video. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Right you came for my lunch date. <laughs> <so. laughs> okay, back at home, I just put my flowers in the vase. And now, I need to take these out because these are some buns cake. I don't even know. So the top is... Confetti, I have red velvet and then carrot cake at the bottom and I can't wait to taste it. Oh, my flowers are so cute. Ah, they're chilling. <laughs> Guys. I just graduated. My family just left. I'm home alone. That's kind of like a weird, crazy way to celebrate. Like. The day's not over, but I'm already like alone to myself. But like, yeah, I just, I guess it's my time to be emotional. I don't know. I just wanted to record. I'm just really happy. I feel like I also can't process everything right now. And if I do try to process things, I'm gonna cry. So, um, let me just get paper towel. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I just want to turn the camera and say today I graduated. It's August 8th, 2023. And I genuinely, for a while, didn't think I was going to get here and i know people say like i didn't think i'll get here but like i literally didn't think i was gonna make it here like by all means i literally felt like there's so many times i wanted to just like drop out quit leave i literally would cry about like wanting to drop out <laughs> but like the closer i got i was like okay i just need to finish it but like even when, like how crazy the world is and i always just thought like dude before I even get to graduate, watch Jesus come, like, literally, with how this world is operating right now. Like, I just genuinely thought, like, I probably won't even be here by the time this time comes. But, like, I'm here now. I walked across that stage. I got my stuff, and, like, I did it. I did it. And it's just crazy, because, like, all the times you think you can't do something. I think about the thunder outside, but, like, all the times you think you can't do something or go through it. God will bring you through it. Even when you thought you couldn't make it, he will help you. I'm going to show you guys my hat. Hopefully it's not backwards, but like, uh, uh, my hat is actually very special to me because I'm actually named after Daniel in the Bible. And legally, my name is spelt like Daniel. <laughs> and um, yeah, so in chapter 10, when... Daniel saw like a um, like an image of God like of Jesus. Jesus said like Daniel, you are precious to God. Don't be afraid. Peace. Be encouraged. Be strong. And when I found out like months ago that one my birthday is in the Bible, April twenty third is actually in the Bible, the same day that Daniel saw the vision of God. It's just like that's crazy. My dad named me after Daniel and didn't even know my birthday was in the Bible. But he just needed to name me after Daniel and like it was just so crazy connecting the dots and like just even seeing like my name specifically and then God saying you are precious to God yeah he's talking about Daniel like you know in the Bible but like also like that's my name and like you're saying that but yeah and it's just feel like there's times I feel like I am afraid of a lot of stuff and I don't want to be but it's just a good reminder like don't be afraid and I feel like a big thing with me is like I always want peace I don't like arguments, I don't like problems, I just like having a peace of mind. And then be encouraged, there's something about me, I feel like I always try to encourage others or encourage myself just to keep going, be positive, and then just to be strong. Like, honestly, just to be strong. Be strong and courageous because that's a commandment that God 
has for us. And no matter what I do, I didn't have to be strong. I have to follow through, I have to finish. And yeah, so those words were actually my screensaver, one of my screensavers for the beginning of the year. So when I, I literally asked, I was like, what should I put in my cap? And then he brought me back to the screensaver and then I went on to chapter 10 and that's where I saw verse 19. And yeah, and also I am a big fan of sunsets and my dad calls me dandelion, the flowers. I was searching for dandelions. I don't think those are dandelions, but yeah, my dad calls me dandelions. But also like even after graduation, how he went to like a beach restaurant, that was like meaningful to me because before I moved over here, the job I had, I was at the beach. I was working on the beach. I would see the water every single day. And I worked there for two years. And I left that job to transfer and to move to FAU to do school to finish up because I knew I wanted to go back to school. But that time I took and I worked. It was, there was times where like I was stressed out and I just felt like I couldn't do it and I did it. Um, and yeah. God has perfect time with that too because even when I wanted to leave, I knew that God needed me to stay until I finished. So yeah, it felt nice going to the beach for a restaurant because like, it's like the same concept of the job I left to move and I just wanted to be sentimental with that. But uh, but yeah, it's just crazy how everything happens for a reason and I know that and it's just crazy how like, Dots connect, things line up, and it's just amazing how, it's just amazing when you know that God has a plan for your life, and, and that's so true, like, God really does have a plan for our lives, and yeah, we have the option to, like, choose and stuff like that, but I'm always asking God, I'm like, I don't want to make any wrong decisions, I just want to, like, follow the plan you have for me i don't want my plans to be what i follow through with even though i always be stressed out about like making plans and what should i do but also it's like he placed certain things on my heart for a reason for me to follow through with and for me to do so and i realized too whenever you're trying to make decisions whatever you have peace with that just makes your mind is at peace that's how you know it's the right thing to do when it just feels like natural also when it flows and like there's not much like backlash on it don't get me wrong because the enemy could send backlash maybe you could send the backlash like after the fact and make you question it but like basically like my thing like moving over here was like easy like getting accepted like once i knew what i wanted to do i applied got accepted moved and everything everything was like all smooth and of course like during the journey of me actually having to try to do the degree then there's backlash of me like wanting to quit, wanting to like not stress out about assignments, wanting to just do like be in a career already and just like do what I want to do, like YouTube and stuff like that, you know? <sighs> but like all that backlash, the enemy was trying to stop me. And that wasn't the plan for God. The plan was to just continue on and be strong and finish strong and just to do it. Don't get me wrong, like sometimes I question like, why does God need me to be, why does God need me to have a career? I should be having a ministry or something like that. But it's just like, God will use you any which way. And like, while you're still here on earth, he's going to still allow you to do like, I don't want to say worldly stuff, but like going to school and getting a degree, like, I don't want to say it means nothing to God, but like, those are just the paths that he directs you in because of like the people you'll meet or where you're going to go. It's just like, God doesn't need you to have a bachelor's degree to be in heaven, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's just like, me going back to school was a reason for me to move, and I moved. I took the leap to move. I wouldn't have moved if I didn't go to school, but yeah, but because I moved, now I find this church that I really love, and I, that was the first church I went to, and the people I've met. I don't have like FAU friends, like I don't have friends in college. All my majority of the people I talk to are from my church, so it's just like, if I didn't do all that, I wouldn't be over here. If I wasn't over here, I wouldn't have got signed to a modeling agency. Like, there's just so much purpose with me 
going back to school and it wasn't just for the degree, which is the crazy part. And I feel like I also knew that for why it was so hard to continue on was like, I don't even think the degree is what I'm actually working towards. You know, I feel like there's other stuff that were, that I wanted more than just the degree or the paper. Cause it's not like, I don't want like a regular corporate job. Don't get me, I don't, you know, but like the degree is what brought me here. The degree, chasing the degree is what, yeah, brought me here. And they're just happy tears. And now I'm a full-time adult. That's crazy, I'm 24, full-time adult, but it's just so crazy, like, what's gonna hold me back? No one holding back. My small group, um, recently, we did a book study for no holding back, and that's just how I feel. Just no one we're holding back. I don't think God wants me to hold back all the things that he placed in my heart. And I just wanna go full force. <laughs> and just live my life every day make the most out of it even though i always feel like i don't have much time it's like i want to make most of the little time i always feel like i have <laughs> so so yeah i'm no holding back and like i want to say like i'll have time but like knowing me i'm gonna find a way to keep myself busy like this is my graduation day and what I feel like doing is reorganizing my room. I really feel like just like clearing out my space and starting like a fresh environment. I'm not moving to a new place, so it's just like, what can I do while I'm here? I'm like, I don't have to pay for classes anymore. Oh, well, actually I do have a loan and stuff, so I probably have to pay that, but like, that's not the point. We go and handle it when we need to handle it, but like, bro, what? Sometimes I'm like, okay, I could have made like more memories at FAU. I could have partied, I could have, you know, but, it is what it is. I mean, I still try my best to have the best college experience. And no, I never lived on campus or anything. I live close to campus, but. <sighs> Do I could, oh, let me show you my balloons. Number 23, cause I graduate. Oh, it's flipped. Just watching the balloons. It's just so crazy how much stuff I have to say because I have not been vlogging and have not been recording. So hopefully I get better with like the whole editing and uploading part. Because like honestly, especially when I feel cute. Shoot, when I feel cute, I could definitely put that camera on my face. You know what I'm saying? But now, yeah, I'm gonna have a budget, but guess what my budget? I'm gonna do my nails, I'm gonna do my hair, and be a woman, a godly woman. Mm, okay. I don't think I have much more to say. I probably do, you know? But that's it. I mean, I could have vlogged more like in restaurants, stuff like that, but like, what to do, what to do? I guess I'm just gonna take off this name. Oh, so another thing, I'm pretty sure, like the thing is I worked so hard in school to get A's. Like I didn't want just regular B's and C's. Like I always tried to get like A's, like A plus, not even A minus, you know? And you know what, I got my cords. It's so crazy because I could have got this on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? It's just so crazy because like I worked hard to have a high GPA and to get my cords, I had to pay to get it. It's just so crazy how this thing is like, I worked hard stressing about high grades to keep my GPA up just to have this on graduation day. And for them to, uh, and for them to say cum laude when I walk. And hopefully they did because I asked my friend, I was like, did they say cum laude after my name, Danielle? Come on, like, let the people know I had a high GPA. But like, does it mean anything? No, because we all walked across the stage with the other people too. You know, it's just so crazy, but. But yeah, I busted my butt for these gold cords, which I'm just gonna take off. <sighs> if I had advice to anybody, if I have advice for anybody, do what you gotta do and do it without stressing. How are you not gonna stress? Continually talk to God and trust in him and do the work. But like, if your goal is to do it the best you can and keep up the high grades and go, do it. If you're just okay with the regular B's and C's, you'll be fine. 
you'll go be you'll you'll be fine literally um but yeah it's okay if you're like hard on yourself well i don't say it's okay but like yeah i'm hard on myself too and sometimes you just really want to feel like you're accomplishing stuff and i understand because i always want to feel like i'm doing good i'm accomplishing like and those are not bad traits to have either but at the same time you have to give yourself grace and know that regardless if you know you're trying your best your best is enough if you get like if you genuinely feel like you're trying your best and you know you are it's good enough because there's times where like i always feel like i could do more and i always have that feeling too like oh i could do better i could do better i could do better but also you have to realize like if you were able to do better you would be doing better so sometimes your mindset could hold you back sometimes like your mental health or whatever it is holding you back or your environment so it's just like there's always room to do better yes but also given your circumstances or like how your mindset is those are what's holding you back at the time but yeah and then that's what's to work on to do better you know anyways ah, there i'm done talking to you guys but not for long because i definitely want to keep talking to you guys more and Oh, I just want to give you guys a hug. I just can't wait to do this more and just talk. What am I going to do now? I literally, I don't have assignments to do. I don't have work to go to. Bro, I literally can lay in bed and sleep if I want to, but I don't think I'm going to do it. And I don't even want to take off this makeup. I don't want to take off this hat. I should wear this hat for like a week. Like, no, for real, for real, because when am I ever going to wear it again? Oh yeah, I can wear my hat when my friends come this weekend. Okay. I just wanted to say bye dandelions. Oh my gosh. That's my, I'm going to be like, yup. I'm going to call you guys my dandelions. Oh my God. This is amazing. You know dandelions are the ones you blow? Yeah. I'm going to call you guys my dandelions. I'll talk to you guys later, my dandelions. Oh, I love it. New stuff. Okay. Hopefully I journal today. Hopefully I journal and just like cry out happy tears. All right. I don't have anything else to say. I'm just happy. Whatever I had in my mind, I, get up, I got out of my mind. And if I ever have more to say, I'll just say it. When I get the time. When I, you know, when I do it. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs>